Everything is a drum. Hey! Talking about Bruce Jew, we always stick together. Talking about Bruce Jew, our best dog friends forever. Alright, this is Adam from FTUB CI. Bruce Drew, worst kid in class. This should be a very interesting video. The worst kid in class? I don't think I was ever the worst kid in class. Maybe there's snippets on a day where somebody else was not at school. I might have taken the mantle, but overall, I was pretty in the middle. Uh, but I did have a chat with one of my uh, best mates. A man named Jamie, who does not own a green N64 control. I own the green N64 control. By the way, okay, I gotta talk about this. Those who follow the channel and have watched these reactions, I'm positive at some point I talked about the green Nintendo 64 control and how me and my best mate have had a very legitimate disagreement over years over who is the owner of it. We don't argue about it. Well, I mean, we do. We argue about it all the time. Not in like a I hate you way. It's just more in a no, I'm actually telling the truth. And, and at this point, I don't know if either of us is just fucking with the other or if we both feel that way. This argument has gone over decades and it's just manifested into this whole thing. Well, I realize that this is the second time this has happened. And what I'm talking about is the year was 2000. High school, year 9, I think, 10, whatever it was of that year. There was an incident in which I... I'm just going to tell you my side of the story. I'll tell you his. Um, I... <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> here's what happened. I saw that there was two flies having sex on the ceiling. All right, that's how this all started. The teacher was out of the classroom and we were throwing a um, blackboard duster around. All right, and the idea was we were trying to, no, I think we were trying to kill these flies because they were fucking all over the classroom. They were doing it on people's rulers, they were doing it on desks, and then they finally went up there and we were trying to, like, we were trying to kill them while they were in the middle of the deed. That's how, that's what was going on. I grab this thing, I throw it up onto the roof where the t flies are doing it. It hits the roof. The fly, it, it probably hits the fly. Honestly, I don't know because blackboard dust went everywhere right into the smoke alarm that was next to where I threw it up there. And we didn't, I didn't know that a, a uh, blackboard duster would set off a smoke alarm, but it absolutely did. And uh, I, I don't remember getting in trouble for it. I don't think the teacher could be bothered trying to figure out who did it. He's like, whatever, just go to your seats <laughs> kind of thing. Mr. Diddy was the guy's name. In fact, speaking of Diddy, while we're on the subject of crazy shit that happened at school, um, same class, probably the same year to be honest, because it was the same classroom. Um, I got held back five minutes into recess, right? Diddy holds me back because I was doing something. I then leave, run around to the front of the school where my mates are standing there, right? I hold my backpack on and I say as loud as you possibly can, man, Mr. Diddy's a fuckhead. He was standing easily in earshot directly behind me. Diddy absolutely heard that and he just could not have given a shit. He was just like, whatever, man. You're the dumb shit who's talking in class and got held back. It's not my fault. Fuck you. <laughs> it's basically what Diddy said with his silence. So um, anyway, get back to the fly of the thing. My mate Jamie swears black and blue that he threw the blackboard duster that killed the flies and set off the smoke alarm. And I'm one million percent positive that that is not true. Some other stories from around that time in high school. Uh, some dude, um, we had like plastic garden chairs in our class. He just like grabs one and just threw it across like the desk. They just, this thing just bounced across the desk floor. A teacher, it was one of those like plastic garden chairs. So it really got a bit of decent bounce on it. Um, Jamie, my friend, he had, he was a, he might have been the, oh, he was the worst kid in some classes, I guarantee. Um, computing class, he was definitely the worst kid in that class. <laughs> uh, but he grabbed somebody's mouse mat and threw it out the window, like, whew. one problem. Mouse mat goes out the window, fucking boomerangs, legit, comes back and lands like facing up against the window. This is big blue mouse mat just flat against the window as the like perfect evidence that this just happened. I think we just closed the curtain or something and the teacher didn't see it because again, we got away with a lot of shit at this school. We don't remember any repercussions from that. 
And uh, one more story about old Jamie. Uh, there was a young man, young fellow. He was like the small kid in the class. I mean, we're all young fellows. We're all in the same class. But he was a small guy. And uh, he was sitting there on his computer. And do you remember those Everlast no shoelace sneakers that came out in the early 2000s? Jamie loved his Everlast sneakers so much. He wore them to the point of like, they should have been thrown out. A long, long, long time. They stunk. They were so rank. They were fucking disgusting. Sinjin, you're looking at this right now. Those shoes were fucked up, okay? Grabs one of us. <laughs> he takes the shoe off. And then he walks up behind this poor little, little Ryan. And he puts the shoe over his mouth. And he puts his hand on the back of the poor guy's head. And just fucking suffocated him with the worst, most toxic, gross shoe stank ever so i think the worst kid in some classes definitely computing class with mr pace at salisbury high school in 2000 is my mate jamie but let's see who the worst kid in bruce jew's class was and let's see if his experience is any different than mine let's go all right now throughout my school days i've had plenty of bad kids in my class and i went to a public school so i'm not talking about like kids passing no yeah same or shooting spitballs or whatever. No, I'm talking about kids that were a complete menace to the classroom. Kids that didn't need detention. They needed like an ankle monitor and a parole officer to set them straight. And the worst kid that I ever had to share a classroom with was this kid in my second grade class named Colby. And yeah, I know what you're thinking. Who the hell names a kid Colby in the first place? Yeah. I mean, what the hell, Colby's parents? No wonder why your kid screwed up. You named him after a goddamn cheese for Christ's sake. I'm sure his <laughs> brothers Parmesan and Pepper Jack weren't exactly at the top of their class either. Pepper Jack's a cool name. I don't know, I'd, if my name was Pepper Jack from FWCI, I, I, I wouldn't hate it. But this kid Colby was a, uh, well, he was a disruptive little asshole to say the least. Which was unfortunate because our second grade teacher was like the nicest lady in Northwest Ohio. But that didn't matter to Colby because his ass made it his mission to just shit all over her day any chance that he got. She'd come walking into the classroom every morning like, Good morning, class. May the winds of success forever be under thy wings. <laughs> yes, Colby, what is it? I pissed inside of my pants. Uh, okay, well, that's all right. You just had a little accident. No, I fucking did that shit on purpose. Uh, well, why on earth would you do that? Because fuck you and fuck your wings of success. That's why. All right, all right. Maybe he wasn't that bad, but... I was gonna say, Colby, mate, you got some anger issues there, young man. Cheese or not cheese, you go, that's not okay. But, uh, well, that was definitely his mentality. Anyway, that's <laughs> with our teacher. Close like, if she asked Colby a question, he would always answer in, like, some bullshit language that he made up. Okay, Colby, can you tell me what the capital of Wisconsin is? <laughs> uh, no, it's not Booble Booble. You want to try again? Schmirkendurgen Bergendurgen. What is that, Portuguese? What the hell is he saying? Uh, you know what? To hell with Wisconsin. Uh, you guys want to do a spelling test? How about we do a spelling test instead? Yeah, I don't know what kind of medication this kid was on, but, uh, well, his ass wasn't glowing red eyes are a little bit of a worry but yeah I've, I've seen all of that in the classroom before 100 percent taking enough of it that's for sure and the worst part is is i sat next to his ass for quite a while and he'd be whispering this gobbledygook bullshit all day long we'd be like balls deep in a math test and colby's ass would be like Whoopie doopie doop. Colby, can you not right now? This fucking long division is kicking my dick in right now. Can you just shut the hell up? Bergen, 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 Bergen. Hey, uh, I think Colby's having an episode of some sort. Could you, like, escort him from the premises, please? Well, needless to say, eventually Colby got his own little area of the classroom over by the, uh, Windows 95 all by himself so he can't distract <laughs> anybody. And this just made matters worse because Colby was not having that. Bret Hart likes Venn diagrams? I don't even even get that joke. Comments, let me know. That shit. He'll be damned if he's got to sit there by himself where nobody can hear him talking his fucking fake ass foreign language. So throughout this school year, his ass would gradually become more and more disruptive. Like for example, every day we'd have like 15 minutes of silent reading. And one day, instead of reading a book, Colby's ass just whipped out a Game Boy and started playing that instead. Motherfucker didn't even turn the volume down. He's just sitting there like. <laughs> And another time in the middle of class, <laughs> Colby asked to sharpen his pencil, but instead of doing that, his ass got inside of a garbage can. Why would he do that? Well, because fuck you, that's why. I'm sitting in the garbage. I ain't doing your fucking spelling test, that's for sure. Hell, one time I saw this kid chew off all the erasers from the tips of his pencils and then spit them across the room like they're fucking sunflower seeds. And like, yeah, he would- Damn, man, this kid's messed up. 
on the office and be like, Uh, yeah, hi, Colby's being a little asshole again. I'm sending him your way. I've never struck a child, but, uh, well, today could be the day. And then he'd be gone for a few days and we'd have ourselves a little Colby vacation. But he always came back event. That's rough. Or his stay in the sanitarium or wherever the fuck he would go. And it'd be like rinse and repeat every week. Like every Monday morning, we'd all get together like, Oh boy, what's Colby gonna do this week, huh? Oh, look, he already drew a fucking wiener on the chalkboard. What a madman. But I gotta say, out of all the shit that Colby did, the craziest bit happened towards the end of the school year. Oh, Colby, Colby. What the fuck you doing, mate? an episode to Bill Nye the Science Guy over and over again. And at this point, Colby hadn't acted out in quite a while. Hell, I distinctly remember thinking, man, Colby seems pretty chill lately. Maybe he's turned over a new leaf. Maybe his ass has found Jesus after all. And just when I think that, I look over, and the motherfucker's dancing on top of his desk with his shirt tied up like some kind of hoochie mom. <laughs> now, at first, our teacher's doing like a fucking crossword or something. She doesn't even realize what the hell's happening. Meanwhile, Colby's ass is putting on a fucking show for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, eventually our teacher can hear our muffled laughter and looks up and she's like, Colby, what the hell? Get off your desk. Why the hell are you dressed up like a goddamn prostitute? And that's when Colby hops off his desk and runs into the coat room. Our teacher starts running after him like the fucking building's on fire. Meanwhile, we're all just sitting there like, man, this is some wild shit. Yeah, even for a fucking public school. God damn. So let's go to a diagram of my second grade classroom. Here's where all of us were sitting. Here's the fucking isolation area that Colby's desk was at. Here's Colby, and here's my teacher. They just keep running around in circles from the coat room back out to the classroom, into the coat room, and over and over and over again. Eventually, our teacher gets on the phone, and she's like, DEFCON 1! DEFCON 1! Somebody get your ass up here! And that's when our school police officer shows up, fucking Officer Dave. And now we really start freaking out at this point. Oh shit, they're gonna fucking shoot his goofy ass. Now both of them are chasing after Colby's wayward ass around the classroom. They do a nice little pincer move and corner his ass. You just summon police to a classroom like that? Even back then? I don't ever remember the police coming to my school for any behavioral stuff unless it was like a full-blown... Like, there were fights and weapons and, like, assault and shit like that. Which, of course, is standard police procedure when dealing with an unruly child in a coat room. And Officer Dave ends up hauling his ass out of the room like a piece of luggage. And that was the last I seen of Colby's goofy ass. Or at least that's what I thought until years later, when I'm sitting in class on the first day of my sophomore year of high school. And during roll call, I hear a very familiar name. Ahem. <clears throat> Colby, fake last name? Is Colby fake last name here? Yeah, I'm here. And at first I'm like, holy hell, Colby from second grade's in here? That kid's still alive? What the fuck? What the hell's this kid gonna look like after all these years? <laughs> Is he gonna have an ankle monitor? Is he gonna have a fucking face tattoo? What the hell? I look back and to my surprise, Colby is just this normal ass dude wearing a polo. Well, after class, I just can't help myself. I go up to him and I'm like, dude, you were in my second grade class. What the hell was wrong with you back then? What, second grade? Oh yeah, that was just a weird time in my life. I don't know, I was just really amped up all the time and I watched Animaniacs a lot. And I'm like, Animaniacs? Dude, I thought you were on fucking methamphetamine. <laughs> so I guess the moral of the story you not seen Animaniacs? That's basically what they do. He is. Uh, don't judge a book by its cover. Some of you might have had a Colby in your second grade classroom who, you know, spoke a fake foreign language under his breath from time to time. But guess what? That doesn't mean he's smoking crack under a bridge. They could be just living a simple life, married with two kids, little provolone and little mozzarella, and they're just normal as hell after all. The end. Alright, so there's a nice ending there, but... Whoa, man, yeah. Um, there's, there was always like one kid in each class with like really hardcore behavioral uh, issues and like I yeah I, I was never that that kid was always the the kid that made me feel like I wasn't so bad even though I was a pretty mischievous and kind of um, I was I was disruptive I was I, I've definitely got ADD 100% like I don't know if I have ADHD but I definitely have some form of ADD because all throughout school, I just found it so difficult to focus. Even when I'd like do a test, I would just like smash through the test like quicker than anybody else. And they'd be like, go back and check your answers. And I just could not be fucked. Go back and check my answers. Like I chose it this on the first time. That's what I believe. That's what I think. That's what my brain says. Like, I don't know what that says about me, but let me know in the comments. What are some of the crazy things that happened in your school life? Like, uh, did anybody throw a mouse pad out the window, the boomerang back, and then they didn't get in trouble with the from, from it anyway? Or are you like me and you threw a, uh, a blackboard duster onto the roof to kill a bunch of flies having sex and it set off the smoke alarm? I'm keen to hear from you down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.